After loading media and confirming that the printer is ready to print, press the menu button. Next, select Media Setup by pressing OK. Scroll down and select Customize Settings. Then, highlight a media setting bank number between 1 and 30 and press OK. Select Setting Name and press OK. You will use the up and down arrows to display letters and symbols. When the desired character is displayed, press the right arrow to select the next entry position. Press the left arrow if you need to fix a mistake. When finished, press OK. Next, perform a feed adjustment. This is used to correct horizontal banding. The feed adjustment menu has two options, auto and manual. Auto adjusts the feed automatically using data collected by the sensor, while with manual, the user visually inspects print results and enters a correction by hand. We will demonstrate the manual version. Another note, primary and secondary adjustments are required. The primary adjustment alone may be sufficient if you only wish to accurately print the length of a design. However, the secondary adjustment will dial in the feed adjustment that much more. After selecting feed adjustments, press OK. Select manual and then OK. Select primary and press OK. Then, choose an adjustment pattern and press OK. The longer the pattern, the more accurate the adjustment. The printer will print the test pattern. When printing is complete, the media will be fed to a position where the pattern is visibly clear. Here, you see the printed pattern. Next, measure the distance between the two center symbols. On the control panel, enter the measurement from the last step and press OK. After navigating back through the menu, select Feed Adjustment, Manual, and then Secondary Adjustment. Press OK and a test pattern will be printed. Check the pattern and note the pattern number with the lightest colors. The pattern number is displayed on the control panel. Use the up and down buttons to enter the pattern number recorded in the previous step and press OK. Enter the number for each line from A to F and press the OK button. The menu will close after you enter the pattern number for the last line. Next, navigate back through the menu and select Head Alignment. This is used to correct misalignment when print results seem grainy or out of focus. The Head Alignment menu has two options, Auto and Manual. Auto aligns the head automatically using data collected by the sensor, while the Manual adjustment requires that the user check the printed pattern and enter the optimum adjustment value for alignment. We will demonstrate the Manual version. After selecting Manual, Unidirectional or Manual Bidirectional, press OK. then OK again. An alignment pattern will be printed. Check the pattern and select the pattern number that has the fewest number of gaps. When C1 is displayed on the control panel, use the up and down buttons to select the pattern number from the last step, then press OK. You will select a pattern number for each color, from C1 to BK2, and press the OK button after each. After navigating the menu, select Heating and Drying. Here, you can set the temperature of the heaters or turn the fan for the additional print drying system on or off. In Heater Temperature, you can set the preheater, platen heater, and after heater temperatures. After selecting the desired heater, use the up and down buttons to choose the temperature. Once you have selected the desired temperature, press OK. Typically, drying time per pass will not need to be adjusted. The after heater feed can be adjusted here. Next, select Media Suction. The amount of pressure varies with the type of media. Less suction is used for thin media that would not print or feed correctly at high levels of suction. Use the up and down arrows to choose a value. Once you've made your selection, press OK. 
Head movement allows you to choose the range which the printhead moves during printing. For faster printing, select data width. For even, high quality printing, choose printer full width. Multi-strike printing is typically set to off. For roll type, choose printable side out or printable side in according to how the media is rolled. This is important when you use reverse wound media. For tension measurement, periodically is recommended in most circumstances. Choose off if slack develops in the media. For media tension, increase tension if creases appear in the media during printing. The higher the value, the greater the tension. The last adjustment is feed speed. Choose a slower speed if the media is creased, torn, or sticks together during printing. The lower the value, the slower the speed. At this point, you've created your custom media type and it is ready for use with the media. If you have any questions about this process or about any of the Epson SureColor series printers, please contact a LexTech customer specialist at 800-453-9538.